Uh, hey, Mr. Uh, builder friend here. This is 504 Ocean Boulevard, Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Tony is here today to kind of help us walk through and assess what this house needs. And we're going to kind of test out some new guys in the market. This is just kind of something for us to walk through and say, hey, this is this level of house. This is kind of the finishes and stuff that we're looking for. Uh, you know, here's kind of the, the gauge of rent that we're looking for as well. Keep in mind, we were trying to do this one. Once we get somebody over here, we are going to do it fairly quick. So in stock items. Yeah, so it's just basic. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, wow. Look who I found. Yes, I mean, you're going to have a single family. It's probably going to come down here. It's a 3-1 currently. We want to be able to add another bathroom outside. Obviously, we want to do our standard kitchen. Nice L-shaped kitchen. Yeah, we want to yeah. have a, an island here oh, with oh. some bar stools. Put some drop lights. Yep. Peninsula right here. Yep. Yeah. Well, the ceiling's in great condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's going to get to be touched. Yeah. Painted. Obviously, paint. Yeah, I think we get rid of all this and go with that LVT you've been using? That we've been using? I don't know what that... Yeah, it's a Drift Oak yeah. LVT. That's the one we're doing in all our new builds, so it makes sense to use it here since we can use the advantage of economy of scales and we're getting it at yeah. a really good price. Yeah. In an effort to kind of expand our portfolio, we brought on my buddy Tony. And so we said, hey man, we've got this opportunity in Wilmington. Are you interested you know, in getting your license reciprocated up there and, uh, and kind of bringing some crews from Charleston or building some new crews here. And so that's kind of what we're doing on this first batch. The plan is to, you know, utilize folks that are here. Uh, and then if we've got to send some guys from Charleston, then we can. Obviously we have um, plenty of places for them to stay. Are you thinking new baseboards for this room here? Or just leave it and paint it in new floors? I think for this year, I think we just get rid of the carpet. Floors, quarter round. Put an LVT, quarter round it. Done. And this shower? Yeah, we want to do a new shower insert. Yeah. Maybe we figure that out and tile that, but we like the, the blue accent here. New vanity, probably go with a 36 or 48, something a little taller. Yeah, change out the toilet, something yeah. more modern. It's not in bad shape though, the no. building, like outside of the show, like honestly, it's in good shape. So I know you've been looking for a, a TV, DVD, VCR combo. If I do a good job, that's my bonus? Yeah, yeah, that's your bonus. So. <laughs> okay, perfect. But no, I think if we can pick up somebody like Eddie, that yeah. has kind of a jack of all trades, you know, that, that might have a helper or two. Yeah. Say, hey, come in and knock this out. Or we bring Orlando up to do the painting. And I've got these two two kids that worked for me for like two years. They left to Florida and they just moved back to Charleston. And they're hitting me up every day now. They want more work. <clears throat> we could easily bring those two up here yeah. and do the entire floor and quarter round. Like they know how we operate and they will love it. Windows are good. We'll put in new central heat in there. You know, new, new I mean, honestly, that alone is going to make this whole property look amazing. Yeah. Seriously, floors, paint, new doors, and a ceiling fan. Yeah. Done. I mean, the only downfall about this, Screen it's already porch. covered, is it's, it's already a, a poured slab. So, I don't know, what's your suggestion on how to make that oh, work? Oh, this is a poured slab. Yeah. Oh, got it. Well, th that's, we'll have to dig out and dig underneath, yeah. Just we'll have to cut out it. sections, dig out the dirt and then we'll fill it back in. But as long as we can access the crawl space from here by chipping yeah. away at it. We saw the opportunity for growth here in Carolina Beach, Wilmington area, you know, years ago. We just didn't have the right mindset. We weren't around the right people. You know, got into flipping houses and doing that on a consistent basis. And then three years later, you know, we had, you know, some cash flow, had all the right connections, and it just kind of opened up a whole lot of other doors for us. That's a nice shed. Yeah. Is there any space in there to make it like a livable room with a yeah. HVAC? It is? Wow. Let's see if it's open. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Dan Tollins, investor, contractor, husband, and father. My wife Cassie and I have always had a dream of growing an investment business in properties throughout the cities we love. If you know Charleston and Wilmington, these markets will support it. This is Coastal Chronicles. We're heading over to that house downtown. Uh-huh. Um, and then we're going to do something. I'll just... 
Go ahead. I was just calling so the kids can say hi, but um, Catalina is crying, so we'll call you later. All right. Love you. My family is absolutely one of the biggest reasons I'm doing everything I'm doing and trying to build this atmosphere and this empire. Um, but the other thing is that I'm also building something where I want to be like involved in the community. The people that work for my business, I also consider them family. I don't want this to be just a situation where I'm the king of the empire and I benefit from all of it and no one else gets to grow. I've never been that way and I don't want to be that way. I'm not driven by the money, I'm driven by the, the process and the environment that we're creating. Dan, his philosophy is very much like my philosophy where the people that we're interacting with, we don't want it to be just this, this interaction of work and I'm the boss, I'm paying you type deal. We're really hyper-focused on relationship building and like this family environment. And Dan and I, we've had arguments and disagreements and not exactly eye to eye on, on everything. But moments later, we're drinking a chai tea together and just relaxing. So like, we're definitely like brothers. Our favorite aspect as far as you know, the Carolina Beach, Wilmington area has been to be on the island. Uh, there's a saying here, you know, OTB, going over the bridge. You know, if you gotta go over the bridge, it's like, you know, a huge ordeal. So you try not to leave the island once you're here. Um, and we've kind of lived by that for the most part. But just if you wanna go to the beach, it's right there. You wanna go to the pier, it's right there. You wanna just do whatever you need to do. It's all on the island. You can do anything you want via golf cart or biking trails incorporating you know, the outdoors into your everyday life. We started in South Carolina, had you working on our personal house, doing the renovations, and then kind of shifted gears and said, hey, maybe we'd be better off doing a new construction. Like you were telling me earlier, you said it's your first one that you've handled from day one yep. to completion? Yep. Yeah, that was my first project from being a licensed builder where I took raw ground conception to reality. CEO. Yeah. And closed it. And closed it, yeah. yeah. And it was great, like, sprints and <laughs> long, very slow walks along the way. Yeah. Uh, but I think we learned a lot. But then when it was done and everything was, like, completed, I was like, wow. We did this. There's, there can be more than just, you know, you're the builder, I'm the, I'm the investor, or, you know, and you're just, uh, you know, you're just the builder. I think that's something we're trying to teach people is that there's ways to be creative with equity. Yeah, no, I 100% agree. That's one of the, the things I love the most about how I think my relationship in real estate has grown and investing, and then meeting you is like, wow, I was able to take this kind of skill that I'm passionate about building and developing and I'll be able to take that also invest in real estate simultaneously and not just be that tool that people are using to build their portfolio like yeah. I'm also part of the process. I think for me like I say it's just a matter of wanting to be able to expand faster and and, and bigger and the way to do that is to bring people in like yourself bring y'all in and say hey here's kind of the concept we're going with let's build this thing out just like we did in Charleston now we're in Wilmington you know we're going to be way ahead of it. Yeah. Sometimes people will say, you know, they're looking for a single family house, something with a yard. All of our things are pet friendly. So we say, hey, this might fit better for your family. Uh, and the other part of that is we actually picked up the house next door. Kind of a funny story. The day we bought this, we met the neighbor, the electrician who's here working on our house. 
was over there, they were having some surges. They've got the original wiring from 1953 in there. So they put it for sale by owner sign up. Cassie pulls up, she calls them immediately, said, hey man, let's figure out a way to work a deal. So we got that off market, saved ourselves 20 grand there. It was probably worth 35,000 more than the one next door just because of the extra square footage. Yeah, I think we just head in. Well, of course it's quiet now, but all that beating and banging sounds like money to me. Get all this stuff ripped out, all new stuff put in. Get this thing up on the market in the next week or two. Start collecting some income. All right, so I mean, as you can see, you know, these guys are taking up years and years and layers and layers of uh, linoleum floor. So again, for us, we want to have it, you know, done the right way the first time. We're gonna, like, we're coming across some some unknowns here. Looks like we've got a little bit of a. Uh, wood rot or termite damage, we'll have to address that once that demo comes out. Um, a lot of people just go right over that stuff and that's just not what we do. We wanna do it right the first time. We don't want anybody you know, falling through floors or stepping through floors. That's why we replace everything and so our maintenance costs are minimum uh, you know, for the long haul. You know, Wilmington is like Charleston 20 years ago. There's still plenty of room for growth here. And, you know, the things we're doing in Charleston as far as, you know, buying miscellaneous, you know, pieces of land and building single family homes, uh, we're not really able to find anything that's like in the city, right? But here in Wilmington, we picked up five or six in a matter of days. All right, here, you wanna hold that real quick? So we're at 60. Does it say the distance from this building? On that one. All right, so we're 20 feet from there with a five and a 15 foot setback. Now from here, 34 feet. So what do you have from the edge of the street there? Five foot from the sidewalk. From this way? I'm gonna hire a guy from Greenville. All right, right there. Shoes, yep, right there. That's us. That's you. So. Keep going. And so we were able to pick those up for you know less than 100,000 a lot, and then do our new construction model that's going to be somewhere in that 150 to you know 175,000 range. You put that other hundred on there, and they can sell for anywhere from you know 380 to 450 right now. We used to have uh, boxers. Yeah, we had an English Bulldog probably 10 years ago, and then we, we've had boxers. Um, but we've always had dogs. Part of the story of, of coming to Wilmington is, you know, it's, it's created kind of a different lifestyle for us. Like, say, we're going to put the, the boys into homeschool, which is kind of, you know, completely off the wall from what we knew. School will go Monday through Thursday from, uh, from 8 to noon, you know, so... That gives us way, you know, a lot more time with them. Those are some of the things we're excited about, you know, for here in North Carolina is to kind of get out and explore, uh, you know, all the wildlife and all the stuff you can do, you know, by boat and, and uh, you know, eventually start making those trips back and forth to Charleston by boat. Part of their, uh, their homeschool uh, curriculum, you know, they're going to have weekly field trips and part of that is getting to know the ecosystem here and getting to learn how to fish and kayak and learning all the history of different parts of the island and different parts of Wilmington. Uh, so really looking forward to, to that part, you know, for them. And, uh, you know, also focusing on other things outside of just general public school education. Well, this has been our new date night too. On Thursdays or Friday night, we've been coming out and just getting our chairs like five, six o'clock in the evening once all the beach, you know, people are leaving and we'll come out here and bring us a little cooler and some cheese and crackers and sit there and watch the sun go down and catch up from the work week. So it's been a nice little change of pace. Yeah. So what did you, what have you caught today? Uh, 10, 15 Spanish, shark, that's it. That's it? Just 15 fish? 15. Put your snacks up. Uh, since we've been out here, we've been able to go out to eat a lot more, go do fun activities since it's 
go to the fair, go anywhere out here, come hang out. A lot of good fishing, and I like it out here. It's like a vacation. And two years ago, we had talked about moving here, and it just nothing lined up right how we wanted it to. And we wanted to be here, we loved it, but nothing just fell into place. And all of a sudden, it was like, come May, we got the inn, and that fell into place. And then all of a sudden, everything else just fell right right well, in right after you that. You get comfortable leaving Charleston. You never know. So we got her here. Uh, and then Bishop, our youngest, we had to get him acclimated to you know, a new schooling venture. He, he's only known one school, so to get him out and you know, experience something different. And then, you know, we said if he could do homeschooling, he'd come. It all kind of worked out. Yeah, like I said, everything fell into place just how it should, which always does. Just, just like, like the weather right now. Just like the housing market, just like the flips. Everything happens and falls into place. To be able to get here kind of before it, you know, really blows up. It's a fortress opportunity to kind of get into the city and see some opportunities. And uh, we've talked with other, you know, professionals outside of just real estate. Like I said, hey, why don't we look at maybe getting into a shopping center? Why don't we maybe look at putting an office in downtown? And all this new build stuff that we're doing down there, we're keeping all of it. So it's not like we're going to just up and sell any of it. We're going to keep it for the long run. What if the flipping business dries up a little bit? What if all of a sudden we slow down and you're not finding as many properties or sales start to slow down? We want to have passive income that we have something else to fall back on. And so that's why we do the short, you know, building up our short term rental portfolio. And the goal is to have about 30 of them within the next two years. thought I'd be in the hospitality industry. I've always been in management side of it. And now that I'm in it, I want to do so many more.